What is up guys? Jake here with the next Vainglory Beginner's Guide series video and this one is going to be on team building. I've had a lot of quests saying, hey, you know, we want to see some gameplay. Don't worry guys, we are going to get to gameplay and once the beginner series is over, all it's going to be is gameplay. So you are going to get your fill, I promise. But we ha this is a building block. You know, every video sort of builds on the next, builds on the next. I want to prepare people for gameplay. If they watched a match and, you know, the commentating and, and this was this was wrong, this was right, they might not have any idea why. And I want to build up to that point, and then we're just going to have all kinds of fun with gameplay matches, uh, spectator matches. All, I've got all kinds of stuff for you guys. So hang in there. Uh, probably two or three more videos on the beginner series, and we will be into the gameplay part. When it comes to building a team, we've talked about it before, that in general, and I know if you guys watch the VGLs and stuff like that, you're going to see crazy stuff like lane, uh, Glaive in the lane and, and things like that. But guys... We're not at their level. We can't do that stuff. I mean, you can try it. It might work. It might not. But in general, you're going to have a ranged hero, uh, an Adagio, a Celeste, a, a Ringo, a Saw, a Sky, a Vox, something like that in the lane. And you need to learn to let people know you're in the lane or what you're planning on doing. Because some of these characters, let's say a Sky, for instance, she can go lane, she can go jungle, she can go both ways. So you need to let them know as you're picking a team, what your intentions are. And the way you do that, if you look in the top right corner of the screen, you see it says uh, SKRK Jake One Hive uh, on top of that little picture of Sky. If you will tap on that, it pulls up. There you go. Lane, Jungle, Roam. I can let them know what my intentions are with my with my hero. And you need to do that because it makes a difference. So uh, make sure you're, you're letting people know about that. Um, and also then, you know, once someone's in the lane, guys, don't, don't insta-lock. I hate when people do that. You go in, you uh, you look at a match, and boom, someone rock locks in Ringo. Well, wh they don't know if that's the best for the composition or not. We're going to get more to about team composition later as far as which heroes. But in general, what I'm saying now is you need a lane, you need a support, and you need a jungle carry. So put up what your intentions are and see what everyone else, maybe, maybe you know, you can play other characters, and they can too, and y'all can form a better team if you'll just show each other what you're, what you're planning on playing. Now, Another thing I was going to tell you guys at this point is play more than one hero. I know you, especially at start, you get comfortable with one person and you don't want to venture out. But guys, even if it's in the practice mode against the robot, uh, you know, defenders, whatever, at least, at least guys, get a support role that you are comfortable playing, get a laner you are comfortable playing, and get a jungler you are comfortable playing. And that is the bare minimum. It will make your game experience so much better because when someone comes in, and insta-locks Ringo, and all you ever play is Ringo, what are you going to do? You either dodge the match or you're screwed. Take the time to learn each one. I promise you, you'll have more fun in this game. I'm still branching out. I'm still learning new heroes. I've only got about four or five that I play, maybe six. But still, that's something I can pretty much play with whatever anybody wants to do. And again, it, it just makes it more enjoyable. You never know who you're going to play with. So take the time, learn a laner, learn a, a jungle, and learn a carry, and you are going to be happy you did. Now, after that, let's let's talk a little bit deeper about team composition. Let's say someone picks Ringo and is in the lane. Ninety percent of the time, you're going to see a uh, weapon power build Ringo. There is a crystal power build. Some people do it, but most of the time when you're playing, you're going to see weapon power. What that tells me is I need to play a jungle uh, carry if I'm playing jungle that can build crystal power. Maybe a jungle scarf. Maybe. Uh, Let's see, Krill's not. I play a lot of times with Jungle Power um, Taka. Just something, a, a Crystal Power Petal. Uh, something that is going to allow you to have two different builds. Because what happens is, and then we'll go into it and talk about it more in the actual uh, builds. When you, let's say both team, both the laner and the jungle carry went weapon power. Well, that's very, very easy to defend. They can stack uh, an Atlas Pauldron along with a Coat of Plates, and you are really handicapped because both of your damage dealers are putting out the same stuff. You know, if you're if you're both going Sorrow Blade and, and Tornado Trigger and all those things, and the defense is smart and comes in, this is we're going to talk a lot more about counter building in future videos, but if the defense is smart and they come in and two of the three buy Atlas Pauldron and a Metal Jacket, and the other one just has maybe a Tier 2, coat of plates what are you going to do you know they've got the huge advantage when if you if one person's going crystal power and one person's going weapon power 
then it is much harder to counter build. It's much harder to defend. If both players go crystal power, uh, how easy is it for everyone on the team just to grab an Aegis? You know, it's not, a, it's not that hard and it makes it, uh, it makes it so much easier to defend against your team. So I know it, I, people are going to say, oh, well, you, you know, you can do this, you can do that. You can both go crystal power. I know I, I've played with both crystal power. All I'm telling you is in general, we're speaking in general terms here and we're speaking to beginners try to vary that it makes you a much better team uh the carry you know i see so much and i hate to get off topic here but I, I think it's important i see carries making more mistakes on their excuse me carries support people making more mistakes on their build than any other class they they really and support is all about counter building your job is to to uh, block out the enemy team and to keep your team going uh, so things, simple things, like if you're going up against a Cruel, Cruel's whole build is dependent on him hitting those, hitting you quickly and getting those stacks up. Yet I'll see uh, support roles that build a metal jacket over an Atlas Pauldron. That makes no sense. Atlas Pauldron reduces his attack speed. That is the anti-Cruel. Uh, there's people that I'll see them fighting an Arden, and they'll get an Aegis over a Crucible. And Aegis does nothing for the team. All it gives you is you individually a reflex block and extra shield. A Crucible lets everyone in the team out of his gauntlet when he drops it. You know what I'm saying? So think about that if you're playing a support role. You are oftentimes the hinge pin of the team. You will determine who wins the game, uh, believe it or not. Even though you're not getting the kills, you're not getting all that stuff, you are keeping your team alive. You are making those decisions. So as a support role, you have to know stuff like that. And those are the two big ones. There's obviously other ones. Uh, but if you're not going against a, a Arden or a, a Cruel or something like that, most of the time, the best thing to do is get a Crucible and a, and a Fountain. That gives you a reflex block for your whole team. It gives you life for your whole team. And then just if you if they're Crystal Power, build you some uh, Crystal Power defense. You know, you can go toward it, towards an Aegis. If they are Weapon Power, build you an Atlas or a Metal Jacket. Probably most times an Atlas because, again, it helps your team. It stops damage killing out. They're probably not going to be attacking you directly. You're the support role. You're the tank. Uh, they're going to be attacking your team. So having an Atlas is a much more selfless thing to do and is going to help your team more often than not. So that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to give some tips about building a team and about going branching out. Because you have to be able to play everything in this game. That's just the way it is. You can't play Ringo for the rest of your life. You can't play Taka for the rest of your life. You're going to have to be able to play more heroes. And I promise you guys, surprisingly enough, you will enjoy it. It's fun. You are going to find heroes that you like that you didn't know you liked. Uh, so branch out. Try to go a crystal power and a weapon power and, hero, uh, and uh, support roles. Guys, come on. Think about what you're buying. Think about what's best for the team, not for you. Chances are you're going to be the last one to die every every team fight. They're targeting everybody besides you, so don't worry about it. Get things that help your team out uh, and stick together. I'm going to say this every freaking video. Stick together. Run together. Group fights, team fights. If you have three on two, you're going to win most of those. So it is going. you'll be surprised how often uh, just sticking together snowballs the enemy team because they're they're not a team. They're they're on you know they're on solo queue or whatever and even if you're on solo queue, you make the decision. You go with the team, and that's good. even if they're doing things you don't want to do, stick together. You're going to have better success. You're going to have more fun. Winning's fun. Everybody likes to win. I hope this helped you guys. Gave you something else to think about. Uh, next, let's see here. What do I got? Next video is probably going to be on. Let's see. We'll see. I don't know actually. But I'm going to have one more, maybe two more uh, of the beginner guide, and then we're getting into gameplay. So be looking forward to that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, Jake, doing my best to help you guys suck less.